Smart asset management for business requires a lot of time and effort. For an HR, it could be a troublesome task to manually handle asset-related tasks. In this case, an automated solution can power up business asset management faster and smoother. This is where our asset management module of WP ERP comes to play. Yes, with the WP ERP Asset Manager module, you can handle and track your company's assets, including their value, location, and status. Plus, you can assign assets to employees and track their usage. How cool is that? In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can easily use the Asset Manager module of WP ERP on your WordPress site. One quick reminder. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon to get time-to-time -time updates about our YouTube channel. Let's get started with the video. First of all, you need to activate the Asset Manager module. To do so, go to the module under the WP ERP tab. Then activate the Asset Manager module. Then head over to the HR tab and you'll find the Assets section. Here you can find three options Assets, Allotments and Requests. Click on the Asset and you'll see some listed assets here. Now we'll add a new asset. For that, click on the New Entry button. After you click on New Entry, you'll get a window to fill out some information about the asset. First, select the category. Item name, asset type, item code, model number, description, serial number, manufacturer, price, warranty, and expiration date. Also, you can add a new category here. Plus, edit it whenever it's required. Now we're going to allot the asset to the employee. For that, click on the Allotments and hit the New Entry button. Here, select the category Item Name, Item, Allot the Employee, Given a Return Date. and then click on the Allot button. You can see your asset allotment is done. You can do this directly from your employee profile. Let's see how to do it. Click on the people and head over to any employee profile. Then click on the asset and add asset. Here fill out the form and click on assign button. You can see the allotted asset is appearing here. Now let's see how an employee requests for a new asset from the profile. Now head over to the asset and click on the request asset. Fill out the form and hit the submit request button. So you have successfully submitted an asset request. Also, you can request an asset if it's not listed on the category. For that, just simply fill out the form and click on the Not Available button. A box will appear. Here, just add your request details and then hit the Submit button. That's all. It will be appeared on the list. Now as an admin, let's see how you can accept or reject the asset request. Click on the Request button under the Asset. Then click on the Pending option to see the asset request. Hit the Approve button, fill out the form and click on the Approve button. That's all. To reject a request, click on the request and add the reason. Then click on the Reject button. That's all. So that's how you can manage your business asset with WP ERP Asset Module. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe and connect with our social channels for more tutorials and regular updates like this one.